we are often seeing, um, you know, big and small companies that are looking to do channel incentives around the world with a single program, a single brand. We're definitely seeing that with the large enterprise clients. And we're also seeing that with, you know, the up and comings, the, the smaller ones where this is their first experience. So it is a, a very great question. So in terms of, you know, taxation in, in Canada and US, it's very straightforward. Um, basically there's a threshold that on an annual basis, if you, uh, if you pay out, meaning the, the, the participant receives that money uh, over the thir- certain threshold, then you have to issue them a tax slip. Uh, 1099s, it's one tax slip for, in the US, it's one tax slip for social security number. Um, and these are taxations on the individual receiving it. Uh, in terms of business, uh, there isn't taxation that you need to apply if you're paying the the reps via the partner organization and their payroll. Um, But if you are sending it direct to them, which is what we highly recommend, because that's where you get your biggest impact on engagement and and motivation. Um, But then you have in Canada, you can send out as many T4As to an individual as you want. So you don't have those same things. Um, In terms of, you know, other parts of the world, as I mentioned earlier, you know, uh, UK as an example, you have to, there's what's called a pay tax. So you need to address those things up front before you pay the rep. So there's different ways that you can apply that within your program. So the biggest thing is, is, you know, know what those differences are so you can be compliant. The second thing is have them addressed in your terms and conditions. Um, you know, make sure that, that you engage those regions in those decision makings because they're dealing with them locally. And also, you know, when it comes to your program, there are certain things in different regions. And I know Paul and I talk about this all the time is different. There's different cultural. So it goes beyond beyond the rules and regulations to there's some compliance that you need to do um, from a cultural perspective as well. So the types of reward preferences, the types of payout preferences, the types of, you know, partner management engagement preferences. Um, those are some things that also fall into those considerations when you're going, you know, going to different countries that, that you may not uh, be part of. Um, and last but not least is, is that some of these rules and regula- regulations when it comes to taxation specifically is there are often times where your organization needs to be present or have an identity in those countries as well. So those are the types of things when we talk about doing your due diligence up front, that those come into play um, because there are ways that if you don't have those positions and you can't pay the reps, there are ways that you can pay them via the partner or you can gauge them using points um, or gifting or running travel incentives to end up in a president's club that can allow you to still get that engagement by being compliant as well.